applying exponent rules. We're going to continue on with dividing exponents and what to do with that. From previous video, I want to remind you that the rule when dividing powers is to subtract the exponents. Very simply, if you have x to the fourth over x squared, because of the canceling process, if you write it out the long way, what you really are doing is x to the fourth power take away the second power. It's a subtraction idea. And so the answer here would be x squared. All right. Sometimes you have powers of a power to take care of first, so you want to multiply everything all out. And then you're comparing the x powers on the top compared to the x powers on the bottom, or the y powers on the top compared to the y powers on the bottom. So after some canceling and simplifying, you'll get an answer like this. So I have four problems for you to try. Get out a piece of paper and get ready to do it yourself. All right, I'd like you to try 19, 20, 21, and 22, and I want you to simplify it as far as you can, cancel out all the common factors, and good luck. Give it a try. All right, let's look at number 19, and you see the final answer there, 4x squared over y to the seventh, and here's how we got that. I'm gonna multiply everything together in the numerator, which will give us four, x to the sixth, remember we're going to add the exponents there, okay, and this is y to the first, which is just still y. All right. On the bottom, this is a power of a power, so x, y squared inside the parentheses, all raised to the fourth power, is going to give us x to the fourth, y to the eighth. Remember that in powers of a power situation, you multiply those exponents. So now we're comparing here. The 4 factor doesn't have anything to cancel with, so it stays on the top. We have x to the 6th and x to the 4th. We subtract those exponents to give us x squared on the top, and that's why we have that. And y to the 1st and y to the 8th, we're going to be canceling one y factor out of both, which makes that y to the 7th in the denominator. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Number 20 what we're going to do is let's go ahead and multiply everything here in the numerator. And that's going to be um, 4 because of the 2 times 2 right there. And m squared is still going to be inside there. And then I have n to the fourth because that's n to the first times n to the third. n to the fourth. But all of that is raised to the second power. Now on the bottom, I still have um, m to the fourth, n to the fourth. Okay, let me extend these parentheses here. So the whole fraction, top and bottom, raised to the second power. So what we have to do is take care of it one part at a time. That's four being squared, so that's 16, four times four. m squared squared is gonna be m to the fourth power and n to the fourth raised to the second power, n to the eighth. Okay, remember we're gonna multiply those exponents there. And then m to the fourth, n to the fourth, all of that squared is gonna be m eight, n eight. Now for the simplifying part. The 16 doesn't have any factors there, so it's still gonna be on the top. The m to the 4th on the top and m to the 8th on the bottom. Notice how I can cancel out 4 m's being multiplied, which changes that there to m to the 4th on the bottom. So that's why we have that there. The n to the 8th is going to be canceled with this n to the 8th. There's no n's left over, so they both disappear. And that's why our final answer is that right there. Okay, number 21, you can see how these are getting a little bit harder here. The numerator here is raised to the second power. Now, don't forget, this is a common mistake of students, but make sure that the 2 is being squared also. So 2y, all that to the second power would be 4y squared. At the bottom, we would have um, 2 squared, again, from the inside of the parentheses. That would be a 4. 
And then x squared y to the fourth raised to the second power. Remember to multiply those powers there. And that will give me x to the fourth power y to the eighth power, right? Yeah. And then this 2x to the fourth raised to the fourth power. Well, remember 2 now is raised to the fourth power. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that would be 16. 16x to the 16th. All right. Well, we've got to definitely put that denominator together there and then try to do some simplifying. So 4y squared is going to still be on the top. And we're going to do 4 times 16, which is 64. x to the 4th times x to the 16th would be x to the 20th. And y to the 8th is still going to be y to the 8th. Nothing to do there. So take care of the number factors first. A 4 and a 64. We can divide a 4 by itself and a 64 by 4 to give us 16 on the bottom and a 1 on the top. The y squared on the top is going to cancel out two y's on the bottom so that y to the 8th is actually going to be y to the 6th now. And that's why we have that. The x to the 20th has no other factors to cancel out, so it's going to stay on the bottom. And therefore, our final answer, as you can see, is that right there. Okay, challenging, and I hope you're doing okay with these. Finally, number 22, let's take care of this power of 3 on the outside, which is going to give us x to the 12th, y to the 6th, on the bottom, it's 2x times x, which is going to be 2x squared. But I'm going to multiply that by the third power. So again, let me write that out. 2x squared, all of that to the third power. Okay, that is what we have in the denominator. And so we need to cube the 2, which is going to be 8. Remember, that's 2 times 2 times 2. And then x squared raised to the third power is x to the sixth. All right, notice how number factors here, the 8 is still going to be in the bottom. Nothing on the top there. But x to the twelfth, x to the sixth, we subtract the exponents. It gives us x to the sixth left over on the top. And y to the sixth has no other canceling factors. So there you go. There's our final answer. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this is helping you with what you're studying in class. And what we're going to do in our next video is talk about negative and zero exponents. Check it out.